Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowland here with the Yorksville First Midvale and Newport Global Methodist Church, bringing you a devotional today out of our Way to God series. And we have the important message of receiving Jesus Christ into your heart and having new life. So this is what the Bible tells us um, we ought to do to be saved, to receive Jesus in our heart. It says in Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. And in John 1, 12, it says, But as many as received him, to him he gave the right to become children of God, even those who believe in his name. So the Bible says that it's not just a lip service. It's not just a, a lip affirmation, but it is about receiving Jesus into your heart as Lord and Savior. This comes again through the following steps. So no, recognizing you're a sinner, confessing that sin, to, that sin to Jesus, and then receiving him into your heart is that, that final step, that, that, that step that cements him inside there. And, and, and just to, to have Jesus in your, your heart, then it gives you a newness of life. And the Bible says of being born again. And so one of the wonderful things I love about this tract is it, it gives a sample prayer of what we would call the sinner's prayer. And so let me just just read this prayer and if and we can pray together. And, and I pray that, that um, if, if you've never prayed before, that you would take this as an opportunity to pray. But if you've prayed before and you have Jesus in your heart, it is good to, to, to be ready to pray with somebody else, especially after you give them the gospel. If somebody is ready to receive Jesus, don't tell them, okay, go home and pray. Pray with them right then and there. And the easiest way to do this is to to lead them in prayer and just have them repeat after you um if they feel confident or bold enough to pray on their own that's great but but there might be people who who've never prayed before and really don't even know where to begin or what to say so don't leave those people hanging pray with them and, and one of the prayers we can use is what's in this devotional track and I, I and appreciate that this includes this and it says dear lord jesus thank you for dying on the cross to take away my sins I am sorry for all the wrong things I have done. I ask you to please come into my heart and live in my heart forever. I am trusting you right now to make my heart clean. I take you to be my very own Savior and Lord. In your name I pray. Amen. And so that is just a perfect sample prayer for the sinner's prayer. And I pray that over all those who do not know the Lord Jesus. And, and really the sinner's prayer can be any prayer that includes really three elements. One, acknowledgement that you're a sinner. Two, asking Jesus to forgive you of those sins. And three, inviting him to live in your heart. That makes up the sinner's prayer. And so you might say, well, I don't know how to pray with somebody who, who's, who needs to receive Jesus. One, get them to acknowledge their sinners. Two, get them to ask Jesus for that forgiveness. And three, ask Jesus into your heart. And the Bible says that if we do this, then we have eternal life. And it's about faith. I'm about receiving it on faith to say, I know what your word says. I receive it. I believe in you. And then what we're going to go through for the rest of this track, because this is not where this track ends. This, now you have salvation, and now this, this devotional track is going to take us even further to say, what do you do with that? So tune back in for tomorrow to, to see that. But for now, find those who need to know Jesus. Pray with them, witness to them, and make sure you don't send them away. If they're ready to receive Jesus, don't send them away without praying for them. Amen.